unbelievably tight. Did you get over the uh, the tension of the four-way speed yet? No, not quite, not quite. <laughs> uh, I went and spoke to both teams, though. Um, yeah. They were, I think they were both thrilled with their performances. Did you see those uh, times? Did he have we a look did. on? Apparently it was 0.2 of a second. No! Yeah, it was 0.2 of a second, and I think neither of the teams knew what was going to be the final outcome, but I think they're both pretty pretty pleased. We had messages uh, coming from Facebook. Friends, friends Sorry. Forever yeah. were particularly impressed with their performance as they only trained one hour Incredible. of time as a four-way team. That is unbelievable. Well, but the win went to Windor. We did. We've had messages coming through from people saying they've never seen anything like it. It's the most intense tunnel competition that they've ever, ever witnessed by far. It was so tense. I'm just getting over it now. I'm getting ready to do the two-way dynamic. I cannot wait to see what the outcome of this is. It looks like up first we've got Windor Flash Warriors and Omar and Fred. Battling it out for third and fourth place. And we, then... And then we've got Team Windabona and Hurricane Factory. Those two teams have been neck and neck throughout this competition. Yeah. Great boys. Uh, they know how to have fun, uh, but also they know how to fly hard, fly technically, uh, accurately, and... Fantastically. <laughs> and fantastically. We've got a speed round for you first, and then we've got the free round, and then if it's equal, equal, it's down to... Battle uh, of... Oh, that's going to end up with the... The... OK, let's try it again. OK. We'll do that again. Take two. Action. So we've got a speed round and we've got a free round. But if it's still tied, it's then to... The, the Battle, battle of. of... That was awesome. That was pretty good. That was probably the best one yet, Regan. Absolutely the if best one. If there were awards for Battle Offing, we, it, should get we it. would win it. We might get a medal later. We would later. get gold medals. <laughs> Anyone's got any spare gold medals lying around? Regan and I uh, would like them. It's been an absolute marathon of live action. Yesterday morning, we went live at 8.15. What time did we finish? It was gone, nine. Uh, it's more like 10, I think. I think it was, yeah. Was, it was, uh, Regan's been going for the whole two days. Incredible. So I've been doing the mornings. Uh, no, I haven't. Ray's been doing the mornings. <laughs> I've been in the afternoons. And Regan, uh. hardcore Regan Tetlow, has been presenting all day long for both days. <laughs> Regan is going to deserve a lemonade later on. I really want, and I tell you what, <laughs> if I'm lucky, I might even have some ice in it. <laughs> well, here's what's happened today. We started at nine o'clock. What time is it now? It is ten to nine. Is it in ten the to evening. nine? Yes. Time has flown. I think watching that freestyle uh, with the four-way speed before it has just sent me into a bit of a frenzy. I, I need to <laughs> calm down before the two-way dynamic event. I'm nearly in bed at nine o'clock. Normally in bed at nine o'clock. Really, Regan? Yeah. <laughs> in your many beds around the world. Well, we want to talk about Regan that. Tatlow with his busy travel agenda. I mean, your travel agenda, Regan Tatlow, lowering the tone at Win Games 2017. No, we're talking <laughs> about we don't want people to think that I'm kind of in too many beds. No. No. It He's, is Win uh, Games. Travels for his job. 2017. It is. We're with soon to be back for the two way dynamic final with Emma Scrivener. And. Regan Tetlow. That's right. Oh, saying your name now, Regan. <laughs> say my name, say my name. <laughs> We've spent a lot of time together the last two days. We have, we have. We're normally watching you compete, and uh, now you're taking a little bit of a break from that. You're here in the comments. Of the show. I must say, Emma, you've done a fantastic job. Thank All the you team very have. much. You and Ray with the FS. We've had Leslie going around as a role. We've reported We've had Lisa little in the Alina. freestyle. Lisa We've had on the freestyle all as well. Sorts. And, you know, we must give a shout out while we've got a few moments to all the rest of the team. There's people that you've never seen over there by the tunnel, organising and making sure the flyers are where they Sergi need to be at the right time. He's been a bit of a king of organisation. Serg is round here. He's, he's been our director. He has. He's standing up, giving more instructions. He has pulled this thing together. And it then has the been team, amazing to watch. The team in the gallery, we've got one, two, three, four, five people here switching all the cameras and the units just to make sure that you get all the best images. Watching us, make sure we're doing our jobs correctly. Indeed. Hooking us up with our little earpieces. Yeah. Giving us new microphones. They are on it today. Have you enjoyed it? Today. I have loved it. I've loved it. This has been my first commentating experience. And I have thoroughly enjoyed it. They've been absolutely awesome. So it all comes down to this. We've had the results of the four-way open. We've had the results of the four-way female. We've had the results of the solo speed, the four-way speed, and the freestyle results are being collated right now. All that's left is this amazing battle between the two-way dynamic teams with speed and with three rounds.
I can see uh, on the cameras, I can see judges are sort of getting up and moving around a little bit. Uh, but in the chamber, red, getting ready to go in to fly, uh, we have got Omar and Fred and Windor Flash Warriors. It They've seems all like... just stood up, so it looks, sounds as if something might be happening quite soon. Feels Chris like Dixon, Omar, who is sorry. judging, is, uh, is still standing up. I think he's going to be going to sit down at some point, we hope. <laughs> it looks like Omar and Fred have been competing in everything. I know. I feel like we've seen a lot of them. And Fred's long flowing locks. Got a message through from Australia. Great job, team. Love your enthusiasm. I'm going back to sleep now, he says. <laughs> That's Mr. Watson, or as we call him, Alan. Alan. Uh, we've been speaking to Chris Mayhew as well. Chris Mayhew glued to the freestyle. He has been absolutely loving it. Uh, another shout out to Chris Mayhew. I cannot stop shouting out to Chris Mayhew. He was watching the uh, four-way dynamic. He was screaming at the screen. He said, what a final. Times are so close. I was screaming at my computer. He and said, we were screaming into our microphone. He sent me a message. He said, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we are doing a Facebook Live, both on Facebook and our site. So you've got the live stream we've got now. You've got Facebook Live all over the place. If you're not watching this, well, you wouldn't even hear the message. Well, you wouldn't. There so we go. let's <laughs> hope you are watching this. We, just we got need you. A few more moments now before we go into this absolutely incredible finals. First, second, third and fourth. We're going to find out, first of all, who takes the third and fourth place, aren't we? We are. And uh, the, I think the first team who are going to be flying, it looks like the Windor Flash Warriors. Yeah. Now, the Windor Flash Warriors were both a part of the four-way speed team, the Windor team, who have just taken gold in the four-way speed. Gold! So I think they're pretty pumped up at the moment. Uh, I spoke to Raf before. Raf was over the moon. Cesar's got a big smile on his face. <laughs> so the two of them now... Ooh. Well, that was a big we siren. A, we had a bust noise there. Nobody's in the tunnel to bust. Yeah, I think it, it means matter. there might be a ship coming in. <laughs> Possibly a ship. Or perhaps <laughs> we've been sitting here for too long, Regan. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Raf and Cesar looking ready. So their final challenge now is two-way dynamic. Can they do it? Just when they think it's all over. Let's just talk a little bit about that four-way. He had that big tumble out the door, which would have put them through anyway. And then, what was it down to? Two hundredths of a second? Uh, 0.2 of a second. 0.2 of a second in the end. It was it was incredibly close. You couldn't write it any better, could you? You couldn't. I think uh, everybody was screaming. People were screaming into their helmets. The flyers were screaming into their helmets. The crowd were going crazy. <laughs> uh, I just spoke to Alex's parents. Yeah. And I think their hearts were beating. <laughs> they were saying they were so excited. Yeah, we've got another minute before we get this uh, show on the road, this final of final of finals. It's been two days of incredible action. There's not been one minute to spare. In fact, on our schedule, we uh, minute by minute schedule, there's been breaks of two minutes here, two minutes there. Every now and again, <laughs> the directors come over and scrub it out. Say, no, no break breaks, there. No scrub breaks. that one out, no break there. <laughs> scrub that one out, no break there. It is non-stop, <laughs> but that is keeping the atmosphere going. We are so excited to be here. We are at the dynamic two-way final at Win Games 2017, our final event. We've just seen the freestyle. We've just seen the four-way speed. I can hear the tunnel. I can. You'll be hearing that for the Is next that three a days. Is that tunnel sound or can you hear it too? Honestly, you will. You'll go home and you'll think the tunnel's starting. And it's because you've it heard it all this it time. Is look starting. Pop my head out from the, your studio, having a look at what's going on. So the team that are going to fly first are Windor's very own team, Windor Flash Warriors. That is Raf Kudre and Cesar Rico. So we're starting off with a speed round. Have we got the uh, draw there? What we're going to be doing on the uh, two-way? I'm sorry, put you on the spot there. Flick the page over. <laughs> <laughs> so two way, final. Uh, for the final, head up in face snake. Classic yep. and reverse mixed circles. A challenging one and a very interesting one. So we're expecting to not see the, pop, the fastest snake. Right. Uh, head up in face snake, but saying that both of these teams are extremely fast head up anyway. Yeah. Uh, followed by a classic. Classic, they need to try not to bust through that ring. Yes. Uh, so accurate flying, but fast flying. Um, and then reverse mix circles. Reverse mix circles is quite a lengthy one to do. Uh, so it involves some head up out face, uh, stalling it back, going back to head down, uh, and then head down in face circle. Yeah. Uh, it's a head-up snake, so they'll follow that with a layout. Back onto their feet to start the second page. It's going to be amazing to watch. I cannot wa wait to watch. We've got the top teams in the world who are starting to compete now. What would you predict for a good time on that round? 
Uh, for a good time. Yeah. Oh, I, do you know what, Regan? I don't even know. It starts know. off hurdle, so it's a bit slower. It Maybe not less slow. than a minute. I I'm, I wouldn't say less than a minute, but I could be surprised. Yeah. He's had some incredible teams. Should we go crazy if we get less than a minute? We will go crazy anyway, I uh. think, Regan. <laughs> I think uh, the past has shown that. Yeah, it has uh, you indeed. can see the lights starting to change colour on the tunnel. <laughs> I think the judges are doing a little bit of testing, making sure that everything's ready to go. We're Everything really? is going to be working accurately. We're Timings really, are good. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't <laughs> stop. Uh, uh, uh. Is it my turn? I was going to say, we really hope you've enjoyed this presentation for the last two days. Please send us a message. Let us know. It's good to know that you're watching. And we really hope you are glued to your screens right now as we bring the last bit of competition. It's been a mad, mad day. Just looking at the uh, monitors we've got here now. They seem a bit relaxed. It looks like we're not kind of ready yet, Emma. No, but I can see uh, Omar and Fred in there as well as the Windor Warriors. Raf is looking a bit nervous now. Yeah. There's a photographer in there getting ready to take pictures of this incredible final. I think it's going to be very, very tight. That's Alex there who's been doing the uh, videos that we've had online. <laughs> really, he's a professional uh, production guy. He and is. the videos he has have been superb. Yeah, he's getting some pictures of the crowd now. Look at Raf's face. And I'll, you don't have it on your screen, but we've got a close-up of Raf. Raf suck, sucking is his teeth. concentrating. <laughs> he is really concentrating. Wind speed comes down a little bit. Big thumbs up from Anne Maxwell there. I think we're going to be starting very shortly. Judges are ready. Yep, judges are ready. And Here we go. Raf. And Cesar are in the door, battling for third and fourth place. This is a Windor Warriors. Beautiful head up in face snake. <laughs> People Classic. Are singing. <laughs> We've got some amazing songs going on. And reverse mixed circles. <laughs> Someone is enjoying themselves down there. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, they've done a layout. They're leading themselves back into the second page. Anything can happen in this, as we've seen in the four-way dynamic. We've had teams who've struggled to get out of the tunnel, having a really excellent round and then a really bad exit. The crowd are supporting these guys. So Windor flying in their home tunnel. Being led confidently by Cesar and followed by Raf. Nice classic going under the ring, over the ring. And reverse mixed circles. As we said, this is quite a long um, speed round with head up snake and reverse mixed circles. They are out of the tunnel with a time of 116.325. Now this is now, this is going to be tight, I think. Yeah. But they had a clean round, no busts. And I think that's going to be the big fear for Omar and Fred now and for their supporters. So Come two, on, Omar and Fred. Two flights each to battle it out for this third and fourth place. The time has been set, 116.325. Omar and Fred are in the tunnel. Going quite high on that uh, head up in face. But looking beautiful. Nice classic. Easily, comfortably passing over that ring. Head up parts of the uh, reverse mixed circles through the middle. These guys know what they're doing. Fred looking at Omar pretty much the whole time, checking where he is. Omar is leading it. Crowd is starting to get really excited. Classic over the ring. Reverse mixed circles, we've got the out face parts. They're going to go head down, pass through the middle, a head down circle. And a layout back into the next snake. Head down in face snake. This is being beautifully flown. Precisely. Come on, Omar and Fred. 116, come on. Reverse mixed circles. Layout. 
cross that line. Come on. Out of the tunnel. What time have they got? They have got oh. one 16.937. Regan, what did the team before have? We have the team before 116.325. We're here we go again. We think there are split seconds in oh. this. And sometimes these times which come up on the screen are not exactly what the judges have at the end anyway. So it's neck and neck already after one fight. It is next up for two-way dynamic in the speed rounds. Uh, Windor Flash Warriors are going to be doing head up mix snake, butterfly, head down in face circles. Wow. Here we go again. <laughs> neck and neck. I am so nervous. Windor team are going to be behind these guys. We've got so many Windor competitors. We've got Windor women, we've got Windor kids. We have Windor rockets. And we've got all of the window staff, the window girls, everybody working on the bar reception. You've had a window pizza? I've had a window pizza. I actually had, had half of a window pizza and the rest of my window pizza is over there. What can we do to tease these two teams apart? Third and fourth place. Up for grabs, Emma. Anything can happen. This is the final of the two-way dynamic. We are going to see who has got third place and who has got fourth. I love you, pumpkin. I love you, honey bunny. Everybody be cool, this is a robbery! In the up-deal, fucking pigs, move! And I'll execute every motherfucking last one of you! So we've had the speed round and we've had the free round, Emma. That was pretty neat. I think there's a little wobble in the middle, but Windor, you did an amazing job there. Well done, Windor Flash Warriors. Next up is Omar and Fred. This is the battle. We're going to find out who's won the speed round, who's won the free round. We've got Omar and Fred about to do their, speed, uh, their free round. Bit of a massage before he starts. A massage for Fred. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and Omar enjoying that massage. <laughs> Fred saying yes. That's I'm what pumped I need. Up and ready. Wow. I can't even remember the music, can you? But Omar and Fred. No, I can't. No, I can't, actually. Ah, it sounds like the tunnel has slowed down a little bit. Might be just resetting something with the judges, perhaps. It could well be. Oh, oh, Fred rubbing his belly. <laughs> we might have used all the electric. We've been going that it hard for the last few cut days. It's off now. What an amazing crowd. Have you ever seen anything like this before? No, I haven't. The atmosphere is amazing. Just waiting to find out what's going to happen. But we are at the two way dynamic final of Win Games 2017. We've done the speed rounds. This is deciding positions three and four. So a gold medal in it for one of these teams. Uh, we're just waiting. Uh, not gold medal, bronze medal. It <laughs> looks similar. I've been talking, for, talking for so long, it doesn't look similar. A man on a galloping a horse with notice. A bronze medal for one of these teams. Omar and Fred are really tense weight now. Wow. It's incredible stuff. We've got the times, which were almost exactly the same. And I've written down here, and there's no guarantee this is correct, but I've written down Flash Warriors 116.325 and Omar and Fred 116.939. But so, both 116. I think the split seconds in it, we can't necessarily tell no. from uh, from our position here. We need to have it confirmed by the judges. And the window, and the girl. window girl. Yes. Um, 
But Omar and Fred, this must be a really difficult wait. They know that this is the last round, unless it goes to a tie break. Can you hear the wind coming again? I can hear the wind coming up, which means Omar and Fred. Omar is uh, fist pumping the air, giving the crowd a bit of a smile. The crowd are really behind these two. Although they are competing against a Windor team yes, who they have are. huge support here. I can see a Windor girl in the background getting ready. Here we go. Here's the musical keys. You got a life of fortune and fame. We no need to know your name. He's always looking high. I don't care for nothing but the money and the power. You got a life of fortune and fame. We no need to know your name. He's always looking high. I don't care for nothing but the money and the power. This year's quite time to reclaim the game. To sit up in the shadows and rebel against the game. I'm a lyrics full of dead ease and never listen I wanna take you there and make you all aware It's nothing more than flip of flow patterns living there It's not about the tour, there'd be no easy way To make a living when you're living on the mega pay I've seen careers disappear in this situation Dedication be the name across my chest to place I've seen these people come, I've seen these people go I watch their lives just crumble and their summer grow But do you know what it's really like to live this life? I dedicate my struggle to the downside Got a life Oh yeah, there they go, they are out, big smiles! They look very happy with that, Regan. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get them all back in, there's a win, girl. That was another routine, beautifully flown. I really like the music. The music's yeah, growing on me the more times I hear it's it. It's hot, isn't it? I love it. So Both <laughs> teams with awesome music choices. Both beautifully executed. This is too tight to call. It is. As we know, there's, we, look, we think there are split seconds in the speed round. Yeah. Free round, judges' prerogative. Let's find out what the Windor girl is going to tell us about, first of all, the speed round. So we can't really call it 116 and change for both teams. Oh, I don't know. I don't know, Emma. Here we go. They're in the tunnel. Fred letting his hair flow free. All right. Speed round goes to... Yeah, Go I thought it to was. Window Flash Warriors. I thought it was. That must have been very close, though. For third and fourth place. Free round goes to. Oh! oh it goes to Omar and Fred. I can't believe it. This means what, Regan? It means we have the. Bad Battle off. off. One, wow. uh, one uh, win a piece there, which means we're going to have a tie break round. Oh, just when they thought it's all over. More pressure going on them. So the tie break, it's looking like on my paper, it's looking like the tie break is going to be a speed round. So the Windor Flash Warriors are back in. Uh, Maybe that they have the upper hand here as they won the speed round in the head-to-head -head battle with Omar and Fred, whereas Omar and Fred won the free round. So it suggests that Windor have a slight advantage here, but then again, it is a different uh, different dive from the dive pool. Final tie break is head up mix snake, butterfly, head down in face circles. This is gonna be a really interesting one to watch. Butterfly switching sides of the tunnel with bottom loops on each side. Oh, and they are in. Windor flash warriors flying, battling, trying to get that bronze medal. They are looking incredibly fast. The support for Windor here is huge. Come on, Flash Warriors. Look at the speed they are doing those butterflies and the head down circles. A layout to move to the next page. This is a head, uh, head up mixed snake. Back to head up. 
butterfly. You've got to cross over, do a bottom leap, but avoid that middle ring. Head down uh, in face circles. Lay out, back to the next page. This is so rapid. Oh, oh. no, they've had a bust. No. Oh, wind door. Five second penalty. Right. This could make the difference, but then the pressure is going to be so hard on Omar and Fred. Lay out. Cross that line. Out of the tunnel. Oh, smooth exit. Well done, Windor Flash Warrior. One minute and four. It would have been sub one minute, but they had a five second bust. We were looking to see if we could get below one minute, weren't we? They would have done, but they did have that bust. There's right. a target now for Omar and Fred. 104.397. I know, Omar and Fred. <laughs> Omar's got his eyes closed, hands on his chest. The nerves that these boys must be feeling. They've done everything they can, Emma. They have. They've got one last chance at a bronze medal. Win Games 2017. Deep breath for Omar <sighs> and for Fred before they enter the tunnel. Also doing head up McSnake, butterfly, head down in face circles and they are in. Transition to head down. They're flying so fast. They just need to keep this clean. The butterfly, super fast transition at the bottom over that ring, crossing sides of the tunnel, head down in face circles. A layout. Into the second snake. Head up, it's over for the butterfly. Bottom leap, bottom leap from Fred. Cross sides of the tunnel, another bottom loop, and then it's head down in face circles. The speed these boys do their head down in face circles is impressive. Starting their third and final page, can they beat one minute and four seconds? If they can do it in sub one minute, that looked quite close to a bust there, but they look to be okay. Come on, boys, we need a clean flight here. Head down in face circles. Come on. Stalling it back. Come on. Oh, it's so close. Come on. Oh, out the tunnel. One oh. minute. One minute. Oh, Omar and Fred. We're going to leave it to the Windor girl to show us which team have won, but we've got our suspicions. And we have, Emery. If it wasn't for that bust, I wouldn't even be able to oh. tease it apart. Wow. One bust in that final tie-break round, and it was a bust by Windor Flash Warriors, who've had an excellent competition. And a great round of applause from the sportsmanship audience here and the judges as well. We we're about to find out who has took that third bronze medal place for the two-way dynamic. Smile. Oh, and it is Omar and Fred. I think there was a little second then. And then Omar realized what has just oh, happened. Oh, oh. Yes, Omar and Fred. A brilliant, brilliant round. It was a shame about Window Flash Warrior. Yeah. Roger Warriors getting that bust. But Omar and Fred have put some work in these last two days. <laughs> really, really have. Oh, Regan, that was an incredibly tense battle. But we've got another battle coming up. We've we got the have. battle for first and second place. And then it actually is the battle for the gold medal. Yeah, they're not going home empty-handed. Omar and Fred, it feels like they've been competing in almost everything we've been commentating <laughs> on. So at least they've got a bronze to take home with them. There's they one have. more competition to be decided. And that is the champion of two-way dynamic Win Games 2017. I'm so excited about this one. So we have got Team Winderbona, Josh and Luke, and we've got the Hurricane Factory boys. Now, I love both these teams. They are good fun. They've got great sportsmanship and they are seriously good flyers. We're being watched on the live stream, on Facebook Live as well. We're being churned out on channels in America. I believe NBC is showing bits of it too. Millions of people interacting with the Facebook page. This is it, the last flights of the competition. I can hear the tunnel ready. Winder Boner boys are ready. Josh has got his game face on. Luke did a little smile and then he's got his game face on. Visors are soon to be going down. They're starting with a speed round. Here we go. And Winterbona are in. They have got uh, head up in face snake classic and reverse mix circles. Not the fastest rounds, but we're going to see who is the fastest out of these two teams. Team Winderbona 
and Hurricane Factory. Team Winterbone are currently in the tunnel. This is the final of the two-way dynamic at Wind Games 2017. The excitement is, you can feel it in the air. You could cut this with a knife. These boys, they're doing their reverse mix circles, stalling it back, they are so fast. Look at those body positions. Beautiful, a layout into the next page. They have to do three pages, then they get out of the tunnel. Both flyers must exit the tunnel. When the second flyer exits, that is when the time will stop. Not the fastest of rounds, so we weren't expecting anything less than a minute. Reverse mix circles. Coming back. Out of the tunnel, out of the tunnel. Yes. Oh, yes, one minute 16.565. Oh, these split seconds could be vitally important here. That's the Hurricane Factory battle for first place. This is their speed round. They are also going to have a free round. If one team win speed rounds and one team win free rounds, it will go to a battle off, a Indeed, tie break, will. which will be a speed round. They are ready. And they're in the tunnel for their first speed round. Head up in face snake. Oh, these boys are fast. They look beautifully coordinated. It looks neck and neck with these teams. You can see why these teams are at the top of the table. Slight mistake from one of the boys. But no bus, still clean round. Reverse mix circles. Stalling it back. Onto their second page. Head down in face snake. Being flown beautifully. Yes. Reverse mix circles. Come on, Hurricane Factory boys. I don't know who it's going to be. A target of 116.565, Emma. And they are into the next page. Head down in face snake. This is so tense. No! Oh! No! They didn't They've want had that. a brain lock. They no. have got a bus. Oh, no. One went to do reverse mixed circles, and I think one went to do mixed circles. Oh, I can't believe it. They're out of the tunnel. That has cost them dearly one minute 20. Wow. One minute 20. I think we can say it's likely that the team Winderbona have taken that speed round. But what? now is the free round. What an upset there, Emma. We didn't expect that. We did not expect that. It just goes to show anything can happen. Right. Winter Bono, we're going to hear their music. We're going to see their free rounds. Josh and Luke, this must be a little bit of a boost for them. So we calm down a little bit now as we go into the free round and the musical round. But wow, Emma, right into the last seconds, that bus game. I can't believe it. Right, I think cue the music. Here we go. I love you, pumpkin. I love you, honey bunny. Everybody be cool, this is a robbery! And the up you fucking pigs move! And I'll execute every motherfucking last one of you! Oh, we got the wrong music there, guys. A lot of teams which sound like window. But this is window bonnet we're looking for. Here we go, we got it now. We're just going to start that again there, just to make sure everybody's ready. It is the final, don't forget. We are ready. Here we go.
Out of the tunnel, it's a massive big hug there. What? They know they've done the best they can. What a pleasure watching those two boys fly. What a pleasure and a privilege. You can see why they deserve their spot in this final. You can see why they are battling it out for first place. That was an incredible free routine. Beautiful to watch, incredibly synchronized. Next are the Hurricane Factory. They need to forget the last round. So we're being watched by thousands of people on the live stream and we've got nearly a thousand people watching on Facebook Live as well wow, right now. it's amazing. All the channels are open. Yes. Oh, Hurricane Factory taking a deep breath, getting some, themselves ready. Winterbona puts up an incredibly good routine there. Flown beautifully, cleanly. Huge pressure for Hurricane Factory, but we know these boys are amazing flyers. It looks like they're ready to go. Factory boys are out of the tunnel. Another really, really strong routine flown really well by the Hurricane Factory boys. Yeah. It's neck and neck at the moment. What the Hurricane Factory boys are hoping for, I think, is for them to take the win on the free routine and send it to a tie break because it's it all. looks as though Winterbona might have taken the speed rounds, but we don't know anything until our Windor girl tells us. It's almost all over. This could be it. This could be the end of the win games 2017 in the next couple of seconds. Speed round goes to It is to win the bonus speed round. That was not a big surprise to us. It wasn't. And now the free round for the first place and the championship 2017. Who is it? Oh, tense. <laughs> Who's it going to be? work boys they are the champions 2017 yes. of the win games it's been an intense battle there it came down to the wire at the end but emma they have took it they have taken it and what an incredible job they have done i am so proud of them i'm so happy to see these boys win luke warren josh o'donoghue team Winderbona, two-way dynamic win games 2017 they've smashed it incredible what a performance that has been we have put it all away their celebration is starting right now the tunnel is going absolutely wild we came we had two days to put it all together and we did and the performances are all 
finished. Wow, oh, what an incredible couple of days it's been. I think there is going to be a huge party tonight, led by Team Winderbona and all of the other successful competitors. Who have you got to there? Welcome Hurricane Factory, who've done a great job. I'd right. like to add that all the FS teams that are on that on the podium are in, it, in the house right now, ready to start drinking. Woo! Being supporting all the two-way dynamic, the four-way dynamic, and all of the freestyle. It's been a fantastic evening, and we have been loving it. Elena, have you had enjoyed it? Have you had a good time? Yes, it's been very entertaining to interview all the people who have been competing and to see their energy around. And for you, Lise, with the freestyle, you're in floods of tears. You must have really enjoyed it. Yeah, I'm recovering now. I'm. Yes, it's, it was so, so exciting. Nice to see. We, I really enjoy it. Everybody enjoy it. I hope people at home enjoy it as well. This is the fourth edition of the Wing Games. I can't wait for the fifth. Yeah, it really. And Leslie Gale, what's your initial impressions there? Well, it's just been very emotional, hasn't it? It's been incredible. For me, I've loved watching the battle between Wemby Leo, Hayabusa, you know, and Real Fly Zion. That's where my passion for the sport is. But I, the excitement for that was actually overtaken, watching the freestyle, watching the two-way dynamic and the four-way dynamic, because I just love this format of competition that keeps you on your edge of your seats right until the end. You cannot relax for a second, can you? Absolutely not. And Emma, in the four-way, in the two-way, on oh. the soul, it went down to the wire every time. I I am exhausted. We <laughs> saw the unexpected here tonight. We saw busts where we were not expecting them. We saw exits from the tunnel that we were not expecting. This has been so exciting. But what's been really nice is, as Ray mentioned, seeing all of the competitors supporting each other. And that is the whole atmosphere of the Win Games. It's about support. It's about friendship. It's about incredibly tight competition. It's about seeing things you don't expect to see. Well, we have put it all down there and we have been watched by more channels and more people worldwide than any other tunnel event. The viral videos, they all started yesterday. Over 8 million interactions on the Facebook page of Windows Live 2017 today. Over 6 million views on Myra's report and a freestyle round from yesterday. NBC and in the United States have been covering the event as well. It has been, yet again, another groundbreaking event. But now it's all over and the party is about to start. From all of us here and everybody involved at Windor and Wing Games 2017, it's a very good night and we'll see you next year.